This week we've been looking at commandment number eight, do not steal. So far I've laid out four undergirding assumptions. Number one, that work is good. Number two, that we have a right to personal property. Number three, that matter matters. And number four, that we should treat others well because of God. Uh, there are other assumptions below the surface. Um, I, I'm, I'm not going to go there uh, any deeper. Let's move on. Um, I want to say uh, that I've been around too long to not think that this might be, this whole idea of stealing might not be a problem of yours uh, because you have um, cheated on your taxes or stolen from your employer or something else, and perhaps this is an ongoing problem. Um, I know there are people that steal because I know the stats and I know that um, hundreds of billions of dollars in products uh, uh, get written off as shrinkage every year. There's a robbery every minute. Uh, there's a car stolen every 20 seconds. Um, I know that stealing is a problem because I've been a pastor for 35 years and so I've been around. Um, I know we clean up well. And I know that, um, that money allows us to hide many of our problems, but there are problems. And I know um, that there are people who are struggling with, with sin because I know my own heart. And while I do believe that by God's grace, the longer I, I walk with Jesus, the, the, the better I get ethically. Uh, I also know personally that the longer I walk with Jesus, the more I read the Bible, the more I understand who God is, the more I see that, the, um, that God is better than I expected and I am worse than I thought. And so I now see that I have a massive need for God's grace. I don't think I need less grace today than I did when I first came to faith. Uh, I now understand that I need massive amounts of grace. You get that whole Dallas Willard comment about uh, a saint burns grace like a 747 burns jet fuel at takeoff. Um, I certainly am not claiming to be a saint other than in the theological term. If you're a Christ follower, Paul refers to you as a saint. So I'm, I'm in with that. Not claiming to be a saint the way many people use that word, but I am claiming to burn a lot of grace. So... Look, I don't know if stealing is your issue or not, but just sort of with all the commandments, let me just say, I know you have issues. I hope you have somebody that you can talk to about those issues. The church is, a, is supposed to be a community of grace, hope, and love. And to the extent that people experience grace, they tend to be much more gracious with other people. So I hope that you've experienced that grace. Uh, and I hope that you are be, being gracious with other people. Um, I don't know, again, if the Eighth Commandment is one that you struggle with, but I hope you have somebody to talk to about your sins. You can confess your sins, be forgiven, and experience that, uh, that, that, that the beauty that we talked about, referenced back with the Seventh Commandment, to be naked and unashamed, to be, your life is, is, uh, is an open book, you are, you are confessing your sins. You're calling foul on yourself. Uh, so you're not scared uh, of people knowing that there's sin in your life because you are very open about the fact that you're a broken person. Have a good day.